Christian dietitian and church founder Gwen Shamblin Lara, her actor husband, Joe Lara, and five others are presumed dead after a small private plane crashed into a lake near Nashville on Saturday, authorities said. The aircraft was headed to Palm Beach International Airport when it slammed into Percy Priest Lake in Smyrna, 10. About 12 miles east of Nashville, local officials said. By late Saturday night, Rutherford County crews said they were shifting operations from rescue to recovery, Rutherford County Fire Rescue Captain Joshua Sanders said at a news briefing, as there appeared to be no survivors. The other passengers were identified Saturday night by Rutherford County officials. Jennifer J. Martin, David L. Martin, Jessica Walters, Jonathan Walters and Brandon Hanna, Shamblin Lara's son-in-law. All victims were reportedly members of Shamblin Lara's church and residents of Brentwood, 10. Dive teams from local law enforcement and emergency agencies investigated the debris field, about half a mile wide, where they found human remains and pieces of the plane Sunday, local authorities said. The National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration are investigating the cause of the crash. The aircraft belonged to Shamblin Lara, 66, founder of the Remnant Fellowship Church and author of the bestseller, The Way Down Diet, a weight loss method that aims to turn away from the love of food and towards the love of God, according to her website. William Joseph, Joe, Lara, 58, began his career as a model before landing the lead role in Tarzan in Manhattan in 1989. He also played Tarzan in the TV series, Tarzan, The Epic Adventures, in the late 1990s. He produced the series as well, according to The Hollywood Reporter. The couple, based in Brentwood, 10, had registered the small aircraft through their company, JL and GL Productions, according to local media reports. Shamblin Lara's daughter, Elizabeth Shamblin Hanna, who was not on the flight, sent a text to remnant families on Saturday, asking for prayers and saying that the plane had to go down for a controlled, quick landing, News Channel 5 Nashville reported. God is in control, and we will not stop moving forward with what God wants with this church, the text message said. Hannah's husband, Brandon, was aboard the plane. In a statement Sunday, the church said it had lost some of its finest and most loving leaders in a horrible tragedy. It described Shamblin Lara as a gentle and selfless mother and wife, who lived every day laying down her own life to ensure that others could find a relationship with God. As far as Remnant Fellowship Church and Way Down Ministries are concerned, Michael Shamblin and Elizabeth Shamblin Hannah, Gwen's two children, and the church leadership intend to continue the dream that Gwen Shamblin Lara had of helping people find a relationship with God.